today what up beautiful trouble oh what up scott how are you doing um i am having a crazy busy day so i'm excited that i got to have some time uh with stardew um i was kind of arguing with it uh in terms of like mods and working for a, a the last several days so we will uh see if it decides to actually do stuff because that would be uh kind of dope, right? Hey, Carmen! Aw! Hey, Jenny! What's up? Anthony says, hi, Carmen! Aw! Hi, Anthony! How are you doing today? Um, aw, good, and how are you? Um, you know, busy, like, trying to keep up with, like, everything going on, because, um, yeah, like, I have a friend who's visiting me, uh, next week, so, like, you know, it's been a pandemic, haven't really had a ton of people over, so, uh, my place does not necessarily look like it's fit for polite society, and, like, haven't really washed the bedding for the, the guest bed or anything in a while, so, yeah, super, super fun rejoining the lands of the living, right? Um, loving it. Hey, y'all, what's up? Oh my gosh. Um, some trouble. Yeah. Hey, Patrick, what's up? Thank you so much for becoming a new subscriber. That is what Facebook is telling me. Um, Scott, thank you for the like. Patrick, thank you for the like. And thank you so much for sharing the stream, dude. Are you ready to roll? 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 I don't know. I have cold feet all the time. So, like, I'm obsessed with socks. Um, yeah. So, shenanigans. Um, anyways, um, I recently found out that if you get a mod from, like, many, many years ago that has not been updated, um, in five years, there's a pretty good chance that it will stop working and literally F up everything you are doing. So, um, that was, that was super fun. I have regrets. Definitely. So... Yikes! Hey, Peggy, welcome in. Thank you for liking the stream and thank you so much for sharing the stream, dude. I appreciate you. You rock the Are you ready to rock? 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 Jenny, thank you so much for loving the stream. Scott, thank you for the 289 days of followage. Holy cannoli, dude! I literally can't even believe that I've been streaming that long because. I still feel like kind of a little baby streamer, um, trying to figure out how to, like, wobbly walk. So, um, I, I love being able to hang out with all of you guys. Thank you for the followage, dude! Thank you 
so much for the 207 days of followage. I appreciate you, man. Squirrel. <laughs> I love squirrel. They're so feisty. Um, yeah, you got to stay on that expanded mod to keep everything updated. Yeah, no, I did not do that. So that was super duper fun. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much for sharing the stream, girl. I really appreciate you. You <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, you guys are like, I literally cannot even read this fast. Um, Anthony, thank you so much for liking the stream. Uh, Glenn, thank you for liking the stream. Anthony, thank you for sharing the stream. Did you? Oh my gosh. Y'all are just sharing so much love. I am flipping overwhelmed here. Um, uh, Thank you. Thank you for the 207 days of followage. I, I think I got you, Scott, but like, I'm like trying to read too fast and talking too fast and like my brain isn't catching up. So like, if I missed you, tell me that I don't know how to read and I will say it again. Oh, thank you for putting that in there again. I will definitely, or yes. Um, and, uh, Pengi, thank you for the 207 days of followage, dude. Now follow me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you got, uh, yeah, the mod is terrible. Jenny, thank you for the 204 days of followage, girl. I appreciate you. My God, my squirrels are going to get tired of running, y'all. Like, just flipping, making them run a marathon here. Um... I appreciate you, Patrick. Thank you so much for the 311 days of followage. I appreciate you too. <laughs> gonna have to get my squirrels like they're getting into shape for like a marathon. It's gonna be great. Um, Anthony, thank you so much for the 199 days of followage. Holy cannoli, my God! Like, running so much. I'm feeling tired. Um, Glenn, holy cannoli, thank you for the t 482 days of followage. I really didn't realize that I had been streaming that long. Um, really should have paid more attention in math class, dude. Uh, thank you so much for the support, dude. I appreciate <laughs> I mean, yes, the laughing squirrel sound is very mischievous. Um, and is also the voices of two people that y'all definitely know. So um, to answer your question, I um, started like just streaming once a week in like March of 2021. And for the most part have only like, I, I started streaming like games that, that were mine and not just kind of like showing up on someone else's stream in like July-ish. Um, that's when I started start streaming like Stardew and other stuff that was like a little bit more me. Um, but like, I don't know, I feel like everyone else has such a more regular schedule and is able to kind of like stay on top of stuff so much more that like, um, I, I wish I had more time to be able to do that. Cause I feel like I'd be learning a lot more, you know? Um, but yeah, dude, it's been a heck of a ride here. Uh, 199 wonderful, entertaining, fun-filled adventures. Heck yeah! We've, it's, you know, wandered through weird manners and tried to solve the murder of an oxalot and his screaming goat maid and, you know, living underground and stuff. All kinds of adventures and shenanigans. Um, oh my gosh. Yee yee! Thank you so much for the... 345 days of followage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream, dude. Um, how are y'all doing today? Holy cannoli! I've just been like, um, overwhelmed by like all y'all. Yeah. Oh my god. Why can't I walk straight? That's. It feels like a thing that I should be able to do is, like, walk straight, right? Hey, Ben! Welcome in! Thank you so much!
so much for liking the stream. Appreciate you, bud. Um, hope you're having a great day. Ooh, okay. I forgot. I gotta harvest the giant ones because the Junimos do not want to do that. Um, so I gotta do that so that then they will um, plant the things because I want my Junimos doing lots of the things instead of me doing lots of the things um, so I can focus on more shenanigans. Um, they can do some of the, like more repetitive stuff because who doesn't love more shenanigans right um all right what was i what was i thinking of doing i was doing something trouble oh hey darren what's up how are you doing today hope you're having a great day thank you so much for liking the stream dude um oh my god what was i doing today i know i had thoughts in my head about something to do oh aqua meet marine to mr aguar um, cave carrot, uh, um, and the shadow brutes, and, oh, potatoes, potatoes, yes, let me see if I can, if this is, I don't know, um, it's been a minute, because I couldn't get my mods to work, so, um, let's see here, ooh, we got some potato juice, which I think, Excellent. I have got this. And then we want some um cave carrots. Where I put my cave carrots? I know I have them. I have them somewhere. Um I can't buy I swear I was able to like see things in front of my face ten minutes ago. Like for real though, I, I know I was at one point in my life able to do that. Err. Uh, why do I have so many refrigerators, guys? This is terrible. Did I like use up all my cave carrots and I just don't know what I'm doing with my life? I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. How am I doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Today has been like a super super hectic day because um i had a bunch of stuff that was kind of piled up that needed to get done um and you know i finally had some time to actually like do the things and face and like extra stuff to do or you know extra ability to to get some things done so um ended up uh doing a lot of catching up on chores and and you know, responsibilities and adulting stuff. So that's been fun, but at least it is done and I don't have to worry about it. And, um, you know, it's it's uh, good stuff. Hey, Cedric. Oh my gosh. Hey, Darren, thank you so much for the 60 days of followage, dude. I appreciate you. Good rules. Cedric, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream. Hey, Bia. Dude, ah, it's always good to see you, dude. Hugs. Thank you so much for the 246 days of followage, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> Heck yes. Um. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Hugs. Is there? Oh, can I just automatically? Do I have a hugs button? I think I made a hugs button. What did I make it do? Did I turn it on? What is it doing? Hmm. Okay. So uh, uh, it appears that I um, made a hugs button and then could not figure out how to make it automatically do um, an image. Um, gave up and then never came back and did anything with it so um you know uh, note to self fix the hugs command <laughs> so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and respond manually here um thanks ah! Oh, I think I did a couple different options. You sure you had something 
he was doing last night, but it was so funny in intense stream last night. You were all rolling laughing. Well, I'm glad that y'all had a lot of fun in his stream last night. He always puts on um a, he always puts on a good show for stuff. Um but yeah, no, I mean the stuff that I did last night was like I I really was just um oh my gosh. Okay, my range display is completely out of control. That's very exciting. I'm very, very excited to know that. Um, but yeah, no, last night I just did a super, super short stream because, um, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit more um, consistent. It's, uh, you know, it's something that uh, I'm trying to work on. So no time like to actually, you know, go ahead and, and do that right um no time like the present to actually go ahead and do that ezekiel i will not be able to get him that stuff but i can get to peg pam um so it's carmen not trouble now yeah no i mean trouble is really more um me as part of intense's stream honestly um and so like it it just it it feels weird to kind of keep going by a name that really came out of his stream when like we aren't really collaborating on stuff you know so i figured um maybe it is time for like me to be my own lady i don't know seems like seems like a thing i've been kind of trying to do stuff and all that jazz and figured uh you know, I should have my my own like identity that isn't, you know, uh, subservient to his. <laughs> um, oh yeah, no, uh, that was crazy. You're call me Taco Lady. I'm okay with being called Taco Lady, one thousand percent. Um, you can call me Taco Lady. I love tacos so dang much. I'm actually really excited. I think um. My OG uh, taco bud um, for like the last, I don't know, decade and a half at this point is going to be coming and hanging out with me. So we're going to get tacos. We're going to get Indian food. We're going to like watch lots of Doctor Who because um, like amaze balls, right? Um, Dark Wolf Dad, thank you so much for liking the stream. I appreciate you. Uh, true, you're right, um, about the kind of, like, being my own lady thing, uh, sometimes the, um, the delay to the Facebook makes me confused about what things are responding to, because I am bad at paying attention and thinking at the time. Um... Tacos are awesome. Dude, tacos are awesome. They are, like, life. Um, I am all about, like, carne asada tacos on, like, corn tortilla shells with um, onions and cilantro and lime and, like, some roasted jalapenos. Like, that shit is life. That shit is life. Um, finally, it took 10 minutes for the stream to load up on your PC, lol. Dude, I feel that. It took forever to get some of my stuff um, loaded up on my computer. It was just like fight. It's been fighting me for like all the time. Um, so, you know, so, yay, computer woes. So exciting. Computers are great when they actually work. But you know what always works? Tacos. Tacos always work. Tacos never let you down. Computers can mess up and be real finicky tacos even like a bad taco is like a good day you know yeah oh yeah being your own lady yeah you know i mean i figure um i'm doing enough like things that are kind of different in my own might as well like embrace that stuff right um so yeah i'm excited did you see the giant tacos? I didn't see the giant tacos. I, I saw, let me, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Wait, did I see them? Maybe I did. Oh, 
I see the pets. The tacos? Tacos? Taco! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my god! Those were amazing! Oh my god! Oh my god, I want those. Those look really- Oh, those look really, really good. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, now I really want tacos. I really want tacos now. I, I have so many regrets. I think I can make shrimp fajitas. Maybe that can almost be taco. I need something taco-esque. I'm pretty sure. Ben, welcome in, dude! Welcome to becoming a brand new follower! I appreciate you joining the Squirrel Squad! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm allergic to not enough tacos. What is wrong with my life? Uh, must get tacos or we'll die sneezing. Terrible fate. Terrible fate. Um, you're weird. You only like meat and cheese on your tacos. Hey, you know, like what you like is what you like. And that's not really weird. Um, I used to be obsessed with scrambled eggs that had mustard and cheddar cheese in them. Like, just yellow French's mustard and cheddar cheese. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm pretty sure that it would be hard to, like, top mustard and cheddar cheese scrambled eggs in terms of, like, just, what are you putting in your face, man? You know? Plus, I mean, tacos with meat and cheese are tasty. Um, actually, I did that, um, I did some, like, Korea tacos the other day where it was just, like, um, like, the shredded beef and, like, cheese on, and that was fire. That was so, so good. Um, tacos and not, not White Castle, I mean, so, I, um, I don't even know the conversation that I've been having with this dude. Um, I'm gonna say Robin's been helping me. I've already got automated stuff. They are. They're working out really well for me. Thanks for, thanks for for talking, Demetrius, dude. You go, you go, science, man. You go, science. Um, no, but uh, so I'm actually um, currently making plans to like see some friends for a Comic Con um in Chicago. Like I just finished getting like tickets and hotel and all of that stuff and like you better believe that i'm gonna be dragging them to white castle with me like i'm just like so comic-con is cool but like white castle though like guys work with me here Ooh, space stuff um i don't think it's it's for the star Oh, it is for the space. Cool. I thought it was because of the star drop fruit or something. Ooh, meteor shower. Interesting. Oh, it's like science history dealy what's it. Ah, oh, very, very cool. Very cool. Um, Sean, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream, dude. Nacho cheese on taco meat? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, okay. So, like, layering nachos and throwing them on a, like, a tray and putting them in the oven and, like, layering on, like, cheese, like, shredded cheese and nacho cheese and, like, some salsa and stuff and, like, some jalapenos and layering it and then, like, baking it a little bit so, like, it gets all melty without getting, like, all chewy. Like, if I could live on that and, you know, not become probably kind of malnourished from, like, only eating that and not getting any kind of vitamins, um, and, you know, not get yelled at by my doctor for my blood pressure, like, I would 1000% subsist on that. Like, I would subsist on tacos and nachos if, if I could. If I, if I could do that, but like, from what I understand, um, uh, 
yeah, you know, you don't want your blood pressure to get too high because, you know, your heart, like, randomly exploding is, is not sexy. So I'm pretty sure that's not what happens, but that's what happens in my head um, when I get yelled at for my high blood pressure. So, like, it's a much more fun mental image than whatever actually happens. Um, ah, Demetrius, you little nerd, you're so cute. Goodness. Um, hey, beautiful, hope you're good. I'm doing pretty good, Sean. Um, I've got, like, some really cool stuff that, um, I am planning to be doing. Uh, where, oh, where did Pam? Um, so, you know, like, just, uh, living... Living life, man. Living life. Um, which has been, you know, uh, getting some stuff done. I also, oh my gosh, I also just entered a, uh, a, a virtual cosplay contest and stuff that, like, I'm super, super excited about because, um, it was, like, a cosplay that, like, I designed from, like, the entire thing, like, completely by myself and, like, figured out everything by myself. And, like, I'm, like, super, super flippin' proud of, like, everything I learned from it. And I'm, like, very, very excited because they're going to make, like, a video of, like, look at all the cosplayers that people entered. And I'm all like, oh, my God, people will see my work. This would be amazing. Um... Oh, Prismatic Slime. You know, I gotta go get some Shadow Brutes anyway, so I might just do that one, because that's, uh, that's very doable. Aquamarine, I need to go to Mr. Aguar. Um, where are you at, Mr. Aguar? Around here. He's one of these dudes. So, Alyssa. Um. Ezekiel, who I need to give cave carrots to Paula, Shiro, uh, um, okay, oh, this guy, okay, all right, I go, I could go to, uh, Ridgeside Village, um, also, super, super helpful mod, um, if you actually want to just be moving fast and don't want to have to keep mounting and dismounting your horse, Get a movement speed mod. This is amazing. I'm moving faster than my horse could ever carry me, and I don't have to keep getting up and down like a pogo stick. Um, so, you know, it's, it's excellent. Jeffrey, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream, dude. What's up? Um, all right, we got to go find Mr. Aguar and then head to the caves. Oh, my God. More things that we are excited about. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just realized I just made a cup of tea and then left it for like, you know, when my throat gets dry during the stream and then left it in the kitchen. That's that's so sadness. That's so sadness. Tacos for trouble? I mean, there wasn't going to be tacos for trouble tonight, but like, I think everyone's been talking about tacos so much that like... I think I'm going to have to make something at least taco adjacent for dinner tonight because, like, I want some tacos back right now. Um, I got, like, a like some stuff to make some shrimp fajita stuff, so I think I might be doing that. I feel like that that would be some good life right there. I got my D&D &D stuff. I got my tacos. Like, how can you go wrong with taco D&D &D and... Um, oh, I got a new cosplay that I'm like working, or I got a cosplay that I'm working on finishing up too. So like, um, I think I might be able to get it done tonight if I, well, maybe not tonight, but this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Hmm. Okay. Um, aw, hi, Ian. Yeah, I'm glad that you are happy, Ian. That's cool. That's cool. I'm excited. Oh my god, how many cutscenes can we do here, sir? This is this is too much uh, cutscenes. Oh, I mean, uh, it, Intense does not eat fish, um, and I am 1000% at my place, so um, there is very, very little way that he could possibly get anywhere near my tacos. Um, so I'm 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 gonna go ahead and say I'm not sharing. 
Um, yeah! Goodness. Oh my gosh. There's always so much drama in the valley. You know? I feel like it's 90210 with farming sometimes. Um. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, see, dude, you can be friend face with people. We're chilling. Oh, I got some tree fertilizer. Okay, that's why I stayed in this cutscene. I got some cool loots from it. Um, not that you know you should only talk to people uh, for cool loots, but like you know, um, when you have a million different cutscenes, like having a reason for it kind of helps. You could eat tacos every day if you had to. Dude, honestly, same. What is up here? Oh, nothing very interesting stuff. Okay, that's fine. Fine. We're fine here. This isn't very... This is not being interesting right now. Um, I thought there was something more over on that side that I was, like, missing out on exploring. Oh, man. Okay, so... The mining cart also takes me places. I'm going to ride in the mining cart next time I have to go to Ridgeside Valley. Because that sounds exciting to me. Alright, let's go to the caves and get the shadow brutes and everything. Because that would be super helpful. Oh, let's get, um... Stuff? Where's the stuff? Oh, hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Oh my goodness. Yay! Oh shoot! Ah! I forgot that... And I forgot that the cave is so much farther away! Ah! Should have taken the bus stop. I don't... I was at the bus stop, so I'm not clear on why I didn't just do that. Um... Here. Okay. Excellent. So, Prismatic Jellies and Shadow Brutes. So, I can't remember where Shadow Brutes are. I think it's around here. So, let's let's check that out and see if that's true. Who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm very lost. Um, all things are possible. That's not a Shadow Brute. That's just a weird... And what's it do to I don't like? Um, let's see here. Oh, excellent. Anything else interesting before I depart? Um, no, not really. Okay. Run away! Run away! Hey, Stephanie, welcome in! Thanks for liking the stream! Keelan, welcome in! Thanks for liking the stream! Stephanie, thank you so much for sharing the stream too, girl! I really appreciate you! You're back, pet's hands to the door, you door dashed pizza tonight? Oh shit, that sounds like a really good idea too, actually. Door dashing pizza? I could uh or door dashing tacos instead of having to make them myself would also be very good. Oh. And you just like got me thinking about how I can like avoid uh needing to do any extra chores today, cause like yo. I have been pretty much doing chores and stuff since, gosh, like, right after lunch, and y'all, I did not know how things got this bad. I don't know how it got this bad. Um, get some tortilla chips, uh, nacho cheese, jalapenos, diced tomatoes, shredded lettuce, taco meat, and some frijoles. Layer them all together. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good! Oh, I want that now. Yeah, y'all are getting me, like, y'all are getting me so hungry, and I literally, so like, it's kind of dumb, because, like, it's six o'clock now, but, like, I kind of just ate, finished eating lunch, um, like an hour or so ago. Um, yeah. And now, like, y'all have me hungry again already. Like, Goodness. Goodness. Um, I would spend all of my time eating if, if I was streaming more because y'all, like, 
constantly give me ideas about tasty food and then like I can literally have just eaten and I'm like, you know, I'm hungry, man. Like this sounds uh, like a great, like pizza, dine me up. Tacos, dine me up. Nachos, yes. Oh my gosh. You, you won't mention um, that you door dashed for pizza for dinner. Oh man, dude. Oh, I want that so bad. That's, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Oh my gosh. Um, all this food talk, dude, right? I mean, to be fair, like, I am obsessed with food, so, like, this is actually one of my favorite topics. It's why, like, the Discord has an entire channel devoted to, like, noms, but, oh my gosh, I'm, like, kind of just sitting there, like, man, I just started, but, like, I, c I could go for a snack, though. Anybody else want to go for a snack? Like, I feel like a snack is it's a really good time for a snack. We should we should all like go for a snack break and like reconvene in five minutes. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that here. Um, but if if this was D and D, I would be like, y'all, I need a snack break. I need a I need a snack and tea break. Like, it's it's important for like my continued survival and ability to not become a murder hobo in the game. So like, please help me to help you not get us into trouble. Um, Cause yeah, my, my character in the game is um, just a little bit impulsive. Like have y'all, y'all probably know about Leroy Jenkins, right? Like. It hasn't been that much of a bygone era of gaming that y'all don't know Leroy Jenkins, right? My D&D &D character has kind of a Leroy Jenkins vibe going where people will be planning and she'll listen to part of the plan and then they're like, go, and she'll just like roll out and they're like, that was the plan! So, you know... Um, yeah, and, the, and, you know, just to be clear that the reason that she didn't know the actual plan had absolutely nothing to do with me wandering away to get snacks during the planning. Leroy Jenkins! Exactly! Oh my gosh! Oh, the early days of the interwebs! So good! So good! Hey, JB, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream, dude. What's up? I was just telling people about our plans for tacos and Indian food. And that, like, I've been making my house look less like the Blair Witch Project and stuff. So I'm very, very excited to see your face. OG taco buddy. I, um, oh, my gosh. Wait, why are you here? Okay, gosh. Oh, I got a cave carrot. Ezekiel will want that. I should give that to Ezekiel. That'll be that'll be helpful. I think I see a dude. Yes, there we go. I see a dude. All right. Where's the shadow brutes? Where are you hiding? Need need stuff to happen. Um. Oh, there we go. That's the thing. But I want to see if there's another cave carrot or something in here. Oh, just some wood. Um. Your dad's uh, buddy would play a cleric, Cromwell Tubbins, and his character would constantly ask for some food or a snack, and we had to feed him regularly or else he wouldn't heal us. That's amazing. That is absolutely flippin' amazing. I love that. That, that is, that, yeah. I, I should do that. Actually, um, for a long time, my, like, character... Like, whenever we found someone who, like, wanted to mess us up, I would, like, grab snacks from my bag and, like, be like, here, you want to be friends? And, you know, that's the story of how I rolled a nat 20 animal handling check as a uh, Beastmaster Ranger on a baby displacer beast. And, um... Now I have a, a grown-up displacer beast that is called Puppy, um, a.k.a. Cthulhu Kitty. So, 
you know, you can never go wrong. Like, when in doubt, feed people. You know, like, there's a lot that can be solved by just giving people food, I feel like, you know? There really is. Because, like, I don't know. How much conflict could be avoided if people were not hangry, you know? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, dang it. I haven't found anybody that is going to be... I haven't found any shadow brutes. I haven't found any prismatic thingy what's it very sad and it's late and i gotta go or i'm gonna pass out outside and that's not sexy at all like passing out in the middle of a denny's parking lot it you know stops being cool once you're out of your 20s you know it, it really does just in case any of the climbs are prismatic We don't have any prismatics. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna pass out, and that's gonna be terrible. Don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out, don't pass out. Um, anytime you find random food loot, you would give him large portions to keep him happy and healing. Dude, that is so smart. That is so, so smart. I mean, honestly, like, it just, it makes, it's in everybody's best interest to make that happen. You know? It really is. So, why not you know, do that and make life easier. Um. I found uh, a really cool mod called Automate that means I don't have to reload things, which is super, super glorious and fills me with happiness. So, you know, highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Um, let me see. Oh. oh, man, I need to put more stuff in here then. Okay, well, that's... Um, I ran out, of, um, ran out of stuff in there. That's... Socially awkward. Um, let's uh, start using the um, regular star fruit. Yeah, cause, okay, no, I've still got star fruit. Thank goodness. Um, do you remember, hold up, I'm older than you. My phone used to hang on a wall and I'd answer it without knowing who was calling. Hey! Okay, so like I had a Snoopy phone with like one of the little rotary dialers. So like, I, I remember AOL internet where you had to torture a screaming robot into letting you online and playing Doom on floppy disk. Because who doesn't want their disks floppy? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know thing anymore. Probably just stop talking. Goodness. There we go. Excellent. Do you remember BBS chat rooms? Okay, you got me there, man. You got me there. Um, I, I do not. You, you've definitely, definitely got me there. You had one of those phones until you were 17 years old? That's amazing. Um, you remember that? Okay. I, I clearly, clearly forgot, um, the people I was talking to. I, I am so sorry for underestimate, underestimating your, like, gaming, collective gaming and internet wisdom and history um flopping deck <laughs> oh i got many secret notes very interesting i don't know why i have so many but that's fine okay um oh floppy disk yeah floppy disks were fun we got some honey i don't know if those guys are gonna harvest the honey they might we'll find out but for now i'm gonna Head over here and try to find uh, what's his nut. 
um, mm -hmm. who wants the uh, Ezekiel? Where are you, Ezekiel? My goodness. So here's the thing. I... Wait, is Ezekiel already down here? Or en route or something? Like, what am I... Kenneth, Ian... Oh, little Kiwi! Maybe if I just run around in circles, I'll like randomly run into him and life will be good. Let's uh, see. Maybe he hasn't woken up yet. I don't know. Um, the big five inch floppy disk that held like 64 kilobytes. Oh my God. Yeah. The ones that were like yay big and stuff. Dude, I'm pretty sure I still have a box of like the regular size floppy disks too. Um, and I'm also pretty sure that I found several Dolly Parton and Spice Girls cassette tapes at my mom's house the last time I visited her. And I was just like, whoa, blast from the past, y'all. Like, what are we even doing with our lives? This is, this is wild. Um. Don't anywhere is he where are you hiding I don't see anywhere here either okay it's fine we'll find him it's gonna be great be great hi kiwi gosh you'll be honest you're only 36 years old but all this stuff we're talking about makes me feel old dude right like it feels like all of that stuff feels so far in the past that and like so foreign from how we live now that it almost feels like a bygone era of old almost you know like dude i i saw a meme where like i i am not kidding someone literally was like they looked at the say like they looked at a floppy disk and they were like yo someone 3d printed the save logo and i'm like oh oh my god why would you why would you just like wake up and choose violence and say something like that on the internet where i could like see it like oh my god like oh my god like, please excuse me while I, like, cry over my floppy disks. Oh my god. Hey, TQ! What's up, man? Um, in case you didn't know, the reason all of these cutscenes are happening is because when you reach a certain level of friendship with different people, they force socialization on you at random times in the form of a cutscene. Very much like actual friends sometimes. JK. JK. Um, no. Always good times to hang out with new people. Just not cut... I have, like, such a... I, I do not like cutscenes. Like, and I especially don't like cutscenes that don't let you skip them. And I know I can skip these, but I get cool stuff if I don't. So, like, I'm super conflicted because, like, I want to skip it. I really want to, but I also, like, have mad FOMO over, like, what if he gives me a grape, though? Like, what if I would have gotten, like, a grape? Spice Girls, you had a crush on Ginger Spice? Dude, I wanted to be Ginger Spice so badly. Like, like, I have no rhythm, I cannot dance, and we would, like, choreograph dances to, like, the Spice Girls songs and perform them, like, on the bed while, like, sort of jumping, which... I really don't understand why my parents didn't stop us and how none of us got a concussion, but like, you know, it was so much fun. I, oh my God, I had the Ginger Spice Barbie doll. I had the Scary Spice Barbie doll. Like I went through like a whole decade phase where I was like dyeing my hair red subliminally because of Ginger Spice, which like I tried to dye my hair red and it ended up like just a auburn, like a lighter brunette. So that was sad. Um, and I'll have to try again later. 
but you know um if you see me with red hair um in a couple months you'll know why um i would i would uh try to go back over it with dye but i don't feel like potentially making my hair fall out by over processing it so we're gonna we're gonna give it some time to rest and then we get some bright red hair guys it's gonna be dope um well not scarlet witch hair um tried to dye your hair red oh yeah no um i used to like dye my own hair all the time um and you know the purple was starting to look a little shabby anyways so it kind of it kind of felt like this the purple tips no longer look intentional it just looks like i'm not doing anything which is true it was true so um decided to opt for something a little bit more low maintenance Back when we were kids, I'm pretty sure our parents didn't know where we were between 3 p.m. and the streetlights coming on. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, my God. I almost got expelled from school for accidentally wandering off from a school field trip because, like, they were like, yeah, explore a little bit, but stay nearby. And my idea of what was nearby and their idea of what was nearby was different. I was with a whole group and we we're like, we're going to find some caves and jump over rocks that have cliffs going 30 feet down that are like three feet apart um so we're just gonna like go and apparently they were screaming bloody murder for us and none of us had any clue and nobody realized until one girl started having a panic attack by about trying to jump over the rocks and someone else like took them back to the field trip and we found out that they had been screaming for us for like 30 minutes. We got in so much trouble. It was terrible. But it was an adventure and we all still remember it 30 years later. So, well, no, not th like 25 years later. Hey, Paula, welcome in. What's up, girl? What? How you doing? What am I supposed to be searching for? I... I got so distracted by like ridiculous embarrassing stories about myself um it's so easy to to get me on a tangent that's just like what is wrong with you <laughs> why were you doing these things like i don't i don't know it seemed like a great idea at the time you shaved your head because from the side you were told you looked like bill goldberg from wcw and goldberg is your favorite dude that's awesome um, what is WCW, though? I am... Um, blanking? Oh. Okay. The kill is very... Uh, good and you love and love seeing you play this game. Dude, I love playing this game. I, uh, I definitely need to be doing it a lot more. Um, cause, cause I definitely miss it. It's just, uh... If, if I know I need to do kind of a shorter stream, it's really hard to justify doing Stardew because there's so much to do. Um, oh, World Wrestling! World Champion Wrestling! Okay. Um, how is WCW different than WFF slash WFE? Like, was The Undertaker part of this? Like, was Yokozuma, Andre the Giant, and... Um, undertaker and like the rock and hulk hogan and those guys like how are those guys different than wcw um because i do not know the difference but i used to have a lot of those like little like trump playing cards where you like I, I don't know it was weird um my yeah i i don't know i got super into it for yeah um, all of those guys are WWF, WWE. How is WWF, WWE different than um, WC? That like is WCW more like traditional like sports wrestling versus like performative wrestling? Um, like I'm, I'm just I'm curious and interested to know. Ooh, mountain spirits. Oh, that's lovely. Like a little fox. Yes, I do love the flora and fauna is so beautiful uh oh my god it's a little cauliflower 
Dude, cauliflower got the biggest glow up of any vegetable that I have ever, ever heard of. Five years ago, nobody was eating cauliflower. It was everyone's least favorite vegetable. Like, it would come in those little vegetable medleys, and people would just be like, uh, the cauliflower. And now, like, it's everything's made out of cauliflower. It's crazy. Ooh, amethine. Okay, cool. Um, my father brought me here to meet the head of the Amethine family at the time. You were such a curious boy while your father was working. Okay. Um, Ridge Forest Shadow Creatures! Oh, maybe those are the Shadow Brutes that I need to fight. That would be great. Cornered, crying, covered in wounds. Oh, you poor little boy. Foxtail! Glorious! Okay. Cool. Aww. Aww, cute. Oh, I want to find the little fox and, like, pet him and be friends with it. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, I didn't really understand why my mom was, like, letting us get into those WWE things. But, like, we weren't really allowed to watch them. We were just allowed to have the trading cards. So maybe that was the difference there. Was that, like, as long as we didn't watch them and know how, like, like, what was going on there, like, she was happy to be like, okay, fine. Like, be obsessed with the trading cards. Like, you'll forget this by next year. Um, 25 years later, I still remember all the trading cards I had. Which, you know, was a grand total of five. But, you know, still. We were very excited and argued many times about who was better based on the stats on the card after, you know, having watched literally nothing. Ooh, apple! I like apples. I like... Oh my gosh. Oh, what's over here? Wait, I want to go over here. Why can't I go over here? Like a... Interesting. That is apparently that's maybe an area I need to unlock or like another expansion or something. So we got the little shrine there, Dealy. Ooh, Violet Devil's Claw. That's a that's a fun name for uh, a flower. That is a fun fun name for a flower. Your oh Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh my God, that's amazing. Um, dude, oh my god, so, um, I, uh, I got, so, I used to go, before I got into cosplay, I, like, actually, one of the things that kind of got me into cosplay was, um, I used to go to this bar in Iowa City, um, where they had amazing costume contests, and they had this, like, Irish rock band that had some, like, dropkick Murphy vibes and like just general shenanigans. And um, every year I would go all out trying to place in the costume contest. Cause like I got into the final five with my princess Leia costume. And then every year after that, I was like, I need to place, I need to place, I need to place. And um, one year I literally got edged out of the top three by Stone, by Stone Cold Steve Austin, or no, by Macho Man Randy Savage. Like, he looked exactly like it. I would have sworn he stepped out of history and was, like, actually there. And then, do you guys remember um, the year of, like, the blind referees for football? Um, I'm sure there's probably been many of them, but there was one where I remembered it, like, very vividly. One year, um, I got to second place... And first place was, I kid you not, a blind man who was dressed as a referee with his seeing eye dog. And I was like, you can't beat that. Like, you can't. Like, you cannot beat that. Like, that is so on the nose that, there, that there's no way that anyone could beat that. You know? It's like, man... Just like on a whole different level than like where the rest of us were existing, man. And you, I 
have my respect. Oh my god, what was back here? Holy cannoli! I didn't know this was back here! Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, why can't I go? Oh, congratulations, I found the sewers. Um... Oh! Unimplemented future. I found it, but it is unimplemented future content. Okay. I'm like, what is happening, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I kind of, this is very exciting to me. This is very exciting. Um, I like it when I find uh, secret content that, like, isn't, exi like, I accidentally stumble upon something um, that isn't released yet because like i'm just really nosy and get lost really easily and so because i'm nosy and get lost really easily i randomly like find things that i'm not supposed to which is very very it like it's an exciting way to live let me tell you um oh yeah i gotta <sighs> well shadows and did that and all right, we gotta do some stuff. Um, oh yeah, the cowboys. I forget that you liked the you liked the cowboys too. Um, Rainbow trout. Okay, I mean I'll try. I probably won't get to it, but like, why not? If I do, that's cool. Um, alrighty. Um, oh, I need to. I think I want, I need to get into like, really, do I have this? Can I get past this? No. So I'm pretty sure this side of things is Grappleton Field. So um, I think I might need to get um, another mod to be able to move farther in this direction. But um, I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. Because let's uh, just be honest, I am lost enough um, all of the time with the brand new, like, you know, the other content that I just modded up. So um, I'm going to gonna go ahead and say that maybe I don't need to be doing that right this second. Cowboy Nations, hell yeah, lol. Dude, that's dope. Um... I mean, I'll be honest, um, I'm not really a super big fan of any sports team, but if if you give me, like, a hot dog and, you know, some, um, like, hot dogs and beer and say, go cheer for this team and do the stuff, um, like, I will do it. I will cheer for whatever team gives me food, honestly. I will. I probably should, like, you know not be that way like and you know have like actual thoughts of my own but my own thoughts are that i like hot dogs and beer and i especially like wings so like you can buy my loyalty for a day uh oh you're more like mixed drinks and not beer that's fair that's totally fair um i used to be really really good at making some really good uh mixed drinks and then i got like super into just drinking uh whiskey straight um and like ipas and scotch ales and stuff so you know i turned into one of those terrible beer snobs uh so many so should i should be reflecting on the choices that i'm making with my life um okay yeah, that's weird. Uh, where's the shadow brute? Shadow brute. Okay. Captain and Coke? Ooh, Captain and Coke is awesome. That is a good option. Just straightforward and stuff. Although I liked uh, Captain and Dr. Pepper a little bit more. All right. Um, Shadow Brute. I give up trying to remember where they are at. 
and don't feel like oh after level 80 well that would explain why i didn't find them in you know level one or level 50 that um i could have been here all day and not gotten there so uh, yeah i'm glad i cheated and looked it up all right let's do this um okay we got this y'all um hi kathy thank you so much for liking the stream welcome in how are you doing today okay where are they oh my god my kingdom for a shadow brute goodness why is this uh it's not working Um, oh, I'm glad you're doing good. That's awesome to hear. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Ah, still not a rainbow slime either. This is like... Having very bad luck with finding the monsters that I need in the in the thing. Having a very hard time finding the monsters that I need in the thing. I uh there a ladder that showed up. Oh yes, there was a ladder that showed up here. So we're just gonna keep going here. Um and try to speed through this until we can get to you know, find ah yes, Shadow Brute. I get that guy first though, cause he uh he hits harder and from farther away, and I don't want to have to deal with uh, ranged damage while I'm trying to like do stuff. Just your two cents. You like the costumes for follower goals? Oh, I'm uh I'm. I like uh, doing costumes for follower girls goals and stuff. Um, it gives me a. I haven't really been able to go to like comic cons and um, probably won't be able to do that this year. So um, it's really cool to be able to, uh, you know, incorporate cosplays and stuff into um, into the stream, so that like I get a chance to to do the cosplaying with you know like oh fluffle oh fluffle i have uh let's and thing You want to go to a Comic-Con so bad? Yeah, dude, same. Um, I did finally, like, finish making arrangements for the next Comic-Con that I'm going to, and probably the only one I go to this year. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, Comic-Cons are fun. Um, Jeff Matrix has been, uh, tempting me with, uh, things that are going to be happening at Fan Expo and um, a bunch of uh, people that I know in like the Comic-Con community and stuff have been like, they went to Fan Expo um, Chicago and some other Fan Expos and they've been posting pictures and like with their cosplays and with like other stuff that they got to do there and I'm getting so jealous. So, so jealous. It's not even funny how jealous I'm getting. Okay. Not help there. Ah. Getting pretty close to I need Oh, yes, excellent. Okay. Now I was about to die. I was hella about to die. That would've been um bad. So we're, we're just going to call it and come back tomorrow. It's going to be great. Hey, Jeffrey, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the stream, dude. Hey, buddy. Hi.
Dark Wolf Dad said hi, 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 hi. There we go. Um, you all also want to dress up for Comic Con? Oh, cool. What do you uh, What do you want to do for dressing up for Comic Con? Do you have any ideas? I'm, uh, you know, happy to give you some ideas if if you're looking for any um, and suggestions and stuff. Or, you know, um, I follow a lot of cosplayers that post a lot of tutorials and things. So uh, happy to point you in the direction of some people that are really, really good and really prolific and good at, like, posting how-to videos um, as well. Jeffrey, thank you so much for uh, sharing the stream. I really, really appreciate that. Do ya or what? Aw, oh, I like that. That's that's a good tagline, man. I appreciate you. You rock my stuff, Are you ready to rock? 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 You also want to dress up for Comic-Con? Oh, yeah, I just read that. Okay. Hi. Engage brain. Maybe. Um, there's so many things you want to dress up at Comic-Con. That's super, super fair. Um, honestly, it is um, it is hard to kind of like just want to do one cosplay. So um, honestly, I always recommend that like people, um, I guess, maybe look at the lineup for the Comic-Con that's coming up and see if there's something, one of the guests uh, was in something that like really resonates with you or something like that. That's honestly how I did some of my first cosplays and things. Um, like the first comic con that I went to where I made a costume for a comic con, um, the cast of firefly was there. So, um, my first stuff was like making the, the kind of vest, uh, that Gina Torres wears because like, I love Gina Torres and I love Zoe Washburn. So, um, that kind of, you know, gave me like, hey, let's match it up to this. One is Ghostbusters. Dude, oh my God. So um, I know some people who do 3D prints of like Ghostbuster stuff too. Um, so like DM me and I can definitely uh, send you a link to some really, really good um, cosplayers that do 3D print things that have done Ghostbusters stuff in the past. Um, yeah, they're very cool. Um, otherwise, honestly, like, Ghostbusters, if you can get, like, just a jumpsuit and kind of, like, go from there, um, it's, uh, like, totally, I don't know, doable to, to do something. Then TMNT, but you want, um to be mikey dude yes oh my god i've seen some really really cool things that are like uh teenage mutant turtles and stuff so like you should 100 percent do that like you know not no peer pressure but you you should just do that because you know you should oh man my boxes are filled with things that's sad. All right, let's just throw this stuff over here so that I'm not clogging up my bags. I think I thought I ha I thought I got a mod to like increase my inventory, but I must have installed it wrong on this computer or like maybe I need to um buy it again when I install it on when I install the mod on different computers and move between them. And then um, Thundercats, dude, Thundercats would be so, so cool. Like, that would be a lot of fun. Um, and then Power Rangers, oh my god. I know some people who do some awesome Power Rangers. Um, some, of the, um, some of the cosplayers that I like are just, like, amazing at it. Um, Yeah, so this is the mod that messed everything up, where I had gotten a bigger greenhouse mod from um, that apparently was last updated in 2017, which was great. And then um, that mod stopped being compatible with Mappy, 
which is also great. And um, I rearranged, I cut down most of my trees and rearranged them for that old greenhouse. And as you can see, that is not compatible at all with this new mod that I found. Um, so, you know, excitement, y'all. Um, excitement. Um, yes. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Oh, dude, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers would be so good. And I know, um, Reed Pop? Reed Pop does a lot of Comic Cons where, like, um, the actor who played, uh, Billy and the actor who played Zack are there a lot of the times. And I know that the actor who played Tommy shows up in a lot of Comic Cons, too. So if you're looking to, like, check out some more like comic cons and opportunities to like do power rangers and thundercats um actually i think i was going to be part of a i was in a i was in a group that was talking about doing um a uh, a comic con uh with thundercats and gargoyles actually one is the green ranger and then white ranger dude tommy was my favorite ranger honestly which i mean to be fair he was also like the most complex ranger as well um jason david frank yeah no he was uh he was definitely an awesome he was so so good um speaking of you know having massive crushes on people from the 90s like oh my god um yeah i was i was about at uh tommy from power rangers life um all right, yeah. Let's see if we can get these shadow brutes. I'm gonna try for one more day to try to get this stuff, um, and hopefully we figure it out. You miss Power Rangers? You remember being the pink Power Ranger for Halloween all the time, and a couple years you were yellow, dude. That's awesome, dude. I remember us like we used to play Power Rangers and kind of kick the shit out of each other when we were kids, like. Not really, you know, for anybody, but we used to, like, basically, like, do these really awkward, like, flying kick leaps at each other that most of the time we didn't land because we weren't actually trying to hit the person. We were just trying to get close to, like, simulate combat, but... Um, it turns out that a bunch of kids don't actually have great control over flying kicks. So, like, we used to be like, <laughs> and then, like, yeah, um, I, like, invented a Purple Ranger character because I was like, you know, like, purple. Um, I know, me and obsession with purple, like, so, so very, very shocking, right? Um, yeah. No, I know, it's, it's, it's very surprising. Um, that I would be like, yes, there should be a purple ranger, too. Ah. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's figure this out. Stairs. Stairs to somewhere that will actually get me to do stuff. Um, you had, um, a crush on Amy Jo Johnson? Dude. Like, I feel like... Yeah. She, she was definitely adorable sauce in those. Um, yeah. You were in the Power Rangers fan club? Dude! I feel like if I knew there was a Power Rangers fan club, I would have been in it. But I can't remember, in all honesty, if I knew that that existed and, like, would, you know, do that. So I'm not... Oh my god, apparently I move very, very fast once I fight someone. That's something that I did not notice because I am not observant. Shadow Brute! Shadow Brute! Shadow Brute! Shadow Brute! I'm a fight. 
beat you! Excellent. This is glorious. Um, anyone seen the fan? Oh my god, the fan made MMPR that was like Dark Universe with Emperor Power Ranger? I didn't see that, but have you ever seen the version of it where it's like the Power Rangers grown up and it's like basically it kind of takes into account like how fundamentally effed up a bunch of teenagers that were like had the fate of the world shoved on those sh their shoulders would end up being um as adults and it it included katie sackoff and it was oh it was so good um look up katie sackoff power rangers um you will not regret it it was it was on uh it was on oh gosh it was on youtube a while back and it was so so good like i like i was so so sad when i realized that it wasn't like a trailer for something else that was going to be coming out because like a darker grittier power rangers for like adults was definitely something that i was uh into at the time like just you know more realistic and like exploring the consequences and stuff um you're watching it again now you have the link right now dude um send me the link send me the link i need the link um, if you honestly, if you could put the link in Discord, like I would love to check that out because um, let's just be honest about how I feel about super nerdy things and ridiculousness. And you know, man, I got really clumsy at being able to do combat without getting hit. There's no reason why I should be taking this much damage on, like, little slimy dude. Um. Oh, you too? You want to check it out again? Dude, yes. Like, you guys, if you're, like checking out some really cool stuff um definitely throw that into um the discord because uh yeah i i would love to check that out and like nerd out with you guys about ridiculous things because like nerd stuff is life um nerd stuff is life oh my gosh Um, Darren, were you, when you're saying, like, you want to do some cosplays, are you looking at, like, you definitely want to make your own, or are you potentially looking at something that you could get where it's mostly put together and you can kind of do some modifications and final touches and stuff to, like, um, you know, make it a little bit your own? Like, what are, what are you thinking in terms of, like, how you envision, um, doing cosplay stuff because like there is no um you know wrong way to do cosplay um like i strongly believe that um and there's definitely some decent um retailers that have like some reasonable prices for um for cosplay stuff that uh you can just buy and like have ready to go um like pro cosplay is pretty good and has some pretty decent stuff the only thing you got to be careful of is that it's uh it's not domestic and so shipping can be a really long time so you want to you'd need to make sure that you're ordering something um just months and months in advance but i know like i haven't gotten anything from them but a lot of people in like Scarlet Witch cosplay community have gotten some really good stuff from them. Um, I know a lot of people that have used them for various stuff. You want your own portion pack? Ooh, um, proton pack. Yes, actually, um, I'll uh, send you a link. One of my, um, one of the people in my network, uh, does have a, like, I know at one point he was, uh, oh gosh. Oh, okay, my health is not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, maybe it was. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, run away. Oh, oh, run away. Oh, run away. Oh, run away. Um, have you guys seen Doctor Who? Um, the, the episode, um, A Good Man Goes to War? Because, like, yeah. Whenever I think, oh my god, I gotta run away because, like, I've made terrible choices, I always think of that episode where he's like, I want you to be Colonel Runaway. That is what I want you to be known for. I want you to go down as history as Colonel Runaway. And I'm like, oh my god, that is vindictive. My goodness, Doctor. You're, uh... Destroyer of the Dalek is showing or something, you know? Um, okay, sounds good. Yeah, dude! Um, yeah, super fun. You also want to dress up as one of your favorite who horror movie? Dude! You should 100% do that. And there's some Comic-Cons where it's, like, um, very, very much geared towards, like, horror movies and things like that that are, like, super fun. So you should definitely, definitely try to check that stuff out. Oh my goodness. I did not, um, I apparently did not have sufficient, uh, coffee in my life right now. I don't know. Where did I put my food? There we go. This explains why I seem to be struggling with health is because I normally, you know, bring um, food with me, which tends to be helpful. Tends to be helpful, especially when you love snacking as much as I do. And I love snacking so much. Um, all right, we got this. Okay. X. Um, Freddy, then Jason, then Michael Myers. Oh, dude, those are super, super doable. And wouldn't you, um, does, uh, I know Casey, like, you could even do a Casey, use some of the pieces from one of the horror movie, the, one of the horror movie dudes for, like, a Casey Jones, um, which would be super dope. Snacking is awesome. Yeah, snacking is awesome. Snacking is life. Um shadows oh my god seven out of ten this is taking forever oh my gosh okay i'm so impatient guys so impatient all right we're gonna go to this new place that um i think i remembered to put the mod in for so we will see if i did what i think i did um it is entirely possible that i did not um because, you know, um, I get confused sometimes. I do you want this fiddlehead stuff? Because um, I know I still have social stuff with Kenneth to kind of do. And um, he really likes the, the fiddlehead risotto. Okay, let's see here. Yes. Excellent. Here it is. This is the deep woods. It is super secret and amazing. And a whole other, like a whole mod that creates a whole other, like, it's, it's almost like the mines where it's like a whole other, like dungeon space, which is amazing. So very here for this. Um, and wanted to, uh, show you it a little bit. You would nerd out if it meant if uh meant JDF. Dude, honestly, like he is very active in the Comic Con circuit and he shows up at a lot of read pop events. Like one thousand percent gotta like like that is one hundred percent a thing that you could possibly do. And you should, because you should be living your best life, honestly. Found. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. 
I forgot. I was like sitting there freaking out about damage from slimes. I forgot that I have a ring that prevents me from taking damage from slimes. I'm so smart. OMFG, you cannot uh, deal with this kid today. He just pulled a new bottle of laundry detergent off the island and landed on him. A one and point one seven gallon bottle. Dude, that's... That sounds so exciting to have to deal with. I'm very glad that is not on my uh, list of things to deal with today. Um, even if you met Bill Murray, you would nerd out too. Do I mean, I gotta say, like, I... I kind of lost my shit when I, um, when I met, uh, got a picture with Gina Torres and, um, with, uh, oh, Mark Shepard was another one where I was, like, losing my stuff. And then, um, David Tennant. Oh my god, I lost my dang mind over David Tennant. Um, oh my god, and Arthur Darville. Arthur Darville, too. I'm such a fangirl about, like, everything, honestly. Oh my god, I'm about to get lost and die, guys. This is... Why would you let me do this? Why Why would you think that it was wise to let me go exploring when I'm clearly not responsible enough to, like, get myself home? Like, why would you, why would you let me explore when I just told you this story about almost getting expelled because I got lost in the, in, like, the woods looking for caves like this is this is terrible you guys should have stopped me you guys really should have stopped me um one of us has to be a responsible adult around here and it sure as heck is not gonna be me let's be honest it's not all right there we go um two aunts and your cousin got to meet uh chris hemmingsworth uh, at a con a couple years ago oh that's dope um, yeah, no, I mean, he seems like just a really cool dude. Um, I'm, I'm super, super jealous. Um, on that note, guys, I think it is about time for me to, um, hey, Dark Wolf Dad, check it out. You, you gave birth to a baby sheep. Aren't you excited? I feel like you should be super excited about this. You gave birth to a baby sheep. And that is the the thing that we are going to uh, end our stream on today. So, uh, you know, you were a sheep because like sheep in wolf's clothing. And I thought it was super clever. Um, Chris, welcome in. Thank you so much for loving the stream, dude. I appreciate you. Mike Literist is. Oh, my God. OK. Um. You have questions? Yeah, I'm not sure how you gave birth to a baby sheep, but you know, um, miracles happen. Mir miracle of birth. I don't know. Um, you got excited. What are we talking about? <laughs> Fanboy. Uh, we're talking about uh, Comic Cons, but um, y'all, I definitely need to feed myself um, in the near future. And if I do not start making food, I will not be fed by the time my D&D stuff starts. And then... Um, I will be eating potato chips out of a bag because um, that's clearly the best option. One more hour. You just hopped on. Um, dude, I'm sorry. Uh, I uh, I wish I could, but um, I, I'll be honest. I'm also about half an hour from hangry and y'all do not want to. You do not want to see me hangry. It's, it's not it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. So um, I'm going to see uh, who we might be able to go and hang out with on a raid. Um, it doesn't look like I have a ton of people that I know who are streaming right now, but um, there's some suggested creators for Farm Sim and Rocket League. Would you guys want to go to Farm Sim or uh, Rocket League or um, actually... <laughs> There's also one that's playing Fall Guys. So, up to you. What are you guys thinking? Farm Sim, Fall Guys, or um, Rocket League? Do I stream D&D? &D? Um, no, because...
is um it would 100 percent have to be 18 plus and also like that's just really time for me to like spend with my friends and so like yes we'll be playing D, &D but we'll also kind of talk about personal stuff in our lives and things like that so in terms of just like respecting everyone's privacy who is playing with me and all of that stuff um, I, I doubt that I'll ever be streaming D and D unless I specifically put together a group for the purpose of streaming D and D. So um, probably not that. But if you want to check out people who do stream D and D, Critical Role is amazing. I love it. Um, Exandria Unlimited was amazing. Um, Abria Iyengar is like a gift. She's just glorious. Um, but all right, um, let's honestly, y'all, um, it, it doesn't seem like there's any strong feelings about, um, what game to go to. So I might just call it a night, guys, without doing a raid. And, um, I'm, I'm sure that There, there's probably stuff that that y'all know about that I do not know about. So um, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing night. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again next week. Bye, guys. Bye.